out to Big Brothers Big Sisters of Leeds and Grenville's 12th annual Brockful Rib Fest being held August 9th to 12th in Hardy Park. With live entertainment, eight ribbers, vendors, and the Howard Travel Rib Eating Contest, the Kids Zone is back with face painting, balloons, games, pony rides, and much more. Big Brothers Big Sisters of Leeds and Grenville's Brockful Rib Fest, August 9th to 12th in Hardy Park. For more information, log on to brockfulribfest.weebly.com. Sponsored in part by BNTV. Good morning, everyone. My name is Elia Angostopoulos, and I'm the chair of UHKF. And uh, UHKF is University Hospital Kingston Foundation, for those that uh, uh, don't know the acronym. I would like to welcome you today to celebrate the achievement of a dream of a very special young lady. I'd like to introduce you to a very special family. Scott and Aaron Modler, McKenna's parents. Bryson, her brother. And Cole, her older brother. And Miss McKenna Modler. our dream team and they have been absolutely integral integral in uh, helping with this fundraiser. I was asked in the fall of 2011 by McKenna and her parents to head up a group to help with this fundraiser. We started with a committee of eight people. It grew to 30 people and then on Sunday at the Lansdowne Fairgrounds for the event we had over 70 volunteers. We had a live and silent auction which raised $38,355, as well as a bake sale, children's corner, and a delicious beef on a bun lunch with salad. McKenna and her friends also made over 200 pieces of jewelry to sell at the event, raising $1,218.81. Hannah's pink van, which has been used at a number of events to raise money for this cause, will be crushed by a monster truck at the <laughs> South Mountain Fair. And then it will be recycled and the proceeds will go to McKenna's dream. On Sunday, September 30th, we'll be having an afternoon Gananoque boat cruise, again with all proceeds going to this fundraiser. On behalf of McKenna and her family, I would like to say a big thank you to everyone involved in helping McKenna fulfill her dream to help others. The outpouring and generosity of the community and outlying areas has been absolutely overwhelming. McKenna's dream team has worked hard for the past few months to make this fundraiser a success. I feel privileged to have been involved with this enthusiastic and dedicated group of people. It's remarkable how this sweet 12-year-old girl who has experienced health issues far beyond what many of us will ever face, yet looked forward with a vision to help others who may have to face the same journey one day. McKenna inspired people far and wide to join her in this vision of help and for that, we are better people. We all thank you, McKenna. You are a remarkable young lady. <laughs> McKenna, can you announce the total? We have raised $96,194.91. On behalf of the University Hospital Kids Foundation, I would like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. McKenna, you certainly dream big. Not only have you made a huge difference in the lives of children receiving cancer treatments, but also into the future. And having met you, you're pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> our role at UHKF is to raise funds in support of all three Kingston hospitals. We know how important it is to be able to tell stories about how money was raised and the impact it makes on real people. McKenna, you and your dream team have not only raised an incredible amount of money for Children's Cancer Fund, but you have significantly raised the profile of the need for fund and put a face on the place, put a face on the Children's Cancer Program. So thank you. McKenna, we are extremely fortunate to benefit from your kindness and your leadership. I know that your dream has come true, and I hope that all your future dreams do as well. Thank you again. McKenna very well knows about this fund. This is a Children's Cancer Fund. It has been in existence for nearly 20 years now. 
Uh, and the objective of this fund is to help families and children that are going through the cancer journey. It helps pay for a number of things, including things like medications that the people need to take at home that are not covered by any drug plan or any other means. It helps with the uh, travel expenses. Many of our children need to go to the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto for bone marrow transplants or special consultations or, like in McKenna's case, some of the neurosurgery. Uh, and that helps pay the expenses of their stays there as well as transportation and other issues. Um, and it also helps to degree with tutoring uh, for children who miss a lot of school and need to be able to catch up and be reintegrated into a normal school life. McKenna, it's um, my absolute pleasure to say thank you on behalf of all of us at Kingston General Hospital and in particular for uh, Dr. Silva and, and the oncology team. Your gift is an inspiration and as we chatted about before, it's not only the incredible amount of money that you've inspired others to contribute but for this cause, but the inspiration that will be a gift for years to come because of your passion, your dedication, and your belief that you can really make a difference. Um, you're obviously a, a young girl well beyond your years and a real role model for all of us. And so thank you so much for caring. Thank you to your family for supporting you as you have been out, uh, out there and uh, making things happen. Uh, we are very, very grateful. And uh, I was so excited to meet you today. You created such a buzz in, uh, in the UHK offices and uh, you've really raised the bar high. So uh, thank you so much to you and your family. <laughs>